Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model this 3D shape in AutoCAD 3D. So let's jump in the program. Before every single drawing, as you know, the units are very important. So in order to set them correctly, let's type units and we'll press enter. Here it will appear some options. So let's go faster and let's set the precision with two decimals and you can let the units in millimeters or you can change in centimeters, meters, inches and so on. So I will let like this and we are ready to go. After that, write these settings in order to find all the points that you actually need. For example, here in 2D space and in the 3D space. So select just those which you actually need and then press OK. Now let's go to the 3D space, press the home button and let's have a look. We will start with this view, so with the backside actually. I will draw this shape which is located right here. So we will start with two circles, a circle with a radius of 40 units and a circle with a radius of 30 units. And after that, keep it in mind, this distance here of 100, it is exactly from this quadrant point until you reach this line. So let's start to draw. Let's go at this plan, at the back plan, and write UCS view. And now let's start with a circle. So write circle, let's start straight from the region. So write 0, 0, the first radius 40. Double click on the mouse wheel to have a better view and from the same center we need to construct another one. So write again circle 0, 0, 30 units. Then starting from this quadrant we'll draw a line. So write line, find the quadrant point, yeah this is the one, we will draw a line of 100 units. Good. Here we need to have another line of 150 units. So apply again the line command and find the middle, move and place it here. After that, let's have a better view again. So we need to construct here two lines. So one line of tan and the other one, which is tangent on the exterior circle. After that, we will use the mirror command. So line, start from this point, 10 units, and now hold the shift and right click and search to tangent. Here, this is the point. Select both lines, right mirror, and draw an imaginary line. Erase our subject? No. You can also delete this line, and let's construct a new one. Inside, OK, trim this part, and we are almost done. Now let's go with the extrusion. So this part will extrude it actually with 15 units as you see here and the other side this long tube will have 15 plus 275 plus 15 plus 15 here and this will be a total of 320 units but before select the entire drawing and press the join command to have one single boundary as you see home button okay and let's write press pull okay you found it write 15 and for the other one right 330 okay let's have a better view so change here from 2d wireframe into shaded with edges and check it out now let's move the origin select the origin but be very careful move origin only and write 305 units good everything seems to be all right now select the entire drawing and let's hide them hide objects now let's go here to button UCS view again. Good, now let's start the new object. We are here in this case, we must design this part or this one. We need to construct the exterior circle, so the circle with the radius of 40, then we need to go down with several lines. So the first one it will be 50, then we'll go in the left side with 150 minus 80, that means 70 divided by 2, 35. So 35 in the left side, then we'll go down with 10, 150, 10, 35, and back from the starting position. And after that, because we are here exactly in this point, we need to extrude it in the back side with 50 units again. Well, let's start with a circle first of all. So circle 0, 0, to be exactly from the region and write 40 units. Double click on the mouse wheel. And now let's go with a line. From this quadrant, okay, 50 units 
then in the other side 35 let's go down then 150 then 35 and back from this quadrant point let's trim it so trim this part select it use the join command to have one single boundary as you see home plan press pull and let's go back with 15 units and now let's end the isolation so isolate and object isolation and check this out good right now let's move the origin again so select the origin move origin only let's move it further with 15 units and now in the left side with another 40 units okay to be here at this corner hide the other objects right click hide objects okay we are here in this position you see yes view okay and let's start to draw several lines again so the first one because we are here in this point in this corner so we will go up with 100 minus 40 minus 20 40 units so we'll go up with 40 units then in the left side 80 plus 30 110 here with 30 units again and we'll have a radius of 100 so line 0 comma 0 to start from the origin find the origin go up with 40 units then in the other side with 110 also from the region again another line of 30 units now let's go to the draw menu or for the windows user you have here in the side go to arc and select start and radius so for us this one will be the start this one will be the end and the radius will be 100 and check this out select join to have one single boundary again home button and press pull it with 80 units good close the isolation again and check this out I know it looks a bit weird but let me show you go to subtract command select the first object enter and the second one enter and check this out it cut the original object that I first selected and for the final steps let's make one single object so go to union command select all these solids enter to so have one single solid move it with let's say 1000 units and select these sketches double click on the mouse wheel and check this out and now let's add a color so right met browser open and for example our drawing is green so let's try to have the same color so let's write here green and you can pick every type of green that you want for example I will select this one change here into realistic and check this out now our drawing is complete i hope this video helped you if you have questions don't hesitate to let them in the comments below as always don't forget to like share subscribe and see you next time